In order to simplify this, we need a factor top and factor bottom. So when we look at the top, first thing you'll always look for in factoring is GCFs, a greatest common factor. So when I look at this, I notice there is one. So what I'm going to do here for the top is I notice there is a GCF of 2. So I'm going to pull out a 2 on top. When I pull out a 2, okay, I go, okay, 2 times what gives you W squared? Hopefully you understand. Sorry, 2 times what gives you 2W squared? Would, be, would this times this give you 2W squared? 2 times what gives you negative 8? Hopefully you could tell that's minus 4. So the top here can still factor. We'll come back to that. Let's focus on the bottom. This is the first step on the bottom. There is no GCF. There is no number in front. So it's one of those really easy factoring techniques. So I put the 16 on top and the 10 on bottom. And my goal is to think of, OK, what two numbers multiply to get 16 and add to get 10? And hopefully you can tell that would be 8 and 2. So when you have this type and those two pieces, are basically your factored form. So on the bottom here, it is going to be w plus 8 and w plus 2. These two are the factored form for the bottom, and the top is not done yet. One way you also know the top's not done yet is because usually when you simplify, something's going to cross out, and nothing's becoming a 1 crossing out. So I know, let me see, the top might factor still. And what you should notice is that's a difference of squares on the top. So on the top there, you should see it's a difference of squares. So what squared minus what squared is that saying? Let's see. What squared is that and what squared is that? Hopefully you can tell it's w and 2. Hopefully you can tell that's a w squared and a 2 squared. So let's factor the top a little bit more. I have the 2, and I can factor the top. I'm going to leave the bottom. It's still w plus 8, w plus 2. So that uses this the factor, and if you have a difference of squares, what you should remember is it should be these two pieces. One of them has a plus, one has a minus. So it's going to be w and 2. One has a plus, one has a minus. So we use these two pieces right there. Now, hopefully you see something dropping out, something that eliminates because it creates a 1. And what you should notice here is don't those drop out. So I now have, what left on top is a 2, w minus 2. And on bottom, I still have a w plus 8. And that is my simplified form. I have simplified it as much as possible. If I cared about restrictions, which is good to think about restrictions, it doesn't ask for it, but if I wanted restrictions, let's just talk about that. What would be your restrictions? Well, what would, on this, create a 0 in the denominator? What would make this 0? Negative 8. What would make this 0? Negative 2. So my restrictions would be negative 8 and negative 2, just to practice. There are reasons for restrictions. It doesn't ask for restrictions, but just thought I'd quickly check that. Once in a while, I'll do that. In order to simplify this, we're going to have to factor the top and factor the bottom. On the top here, you should see a GCF of negative 1. On the bottom here, there is no GCF. So let's quickly, what would I get when I pull out a GCF of negative 1? Kind of, what would that be? That would be, pull a negative 1 out, that become a positive 25k squared minus 1. So that's the top. But this can still factor. We'll come back to that. I'll come back to that, but that can still factor right there. We will come back to that. Um, the reason I know that is, do you see a difference of squares here? Isn't that 5k squared and 1 squared? So what you're going to notice is this piece right here is going to be 5k plus 1 and 5k minus 1, but we'll come back to that. We're just, just a little pause on that. Um, we're almost factored. The bottom, though, needs to be factored. There's no GCF here on the bottom. The edges are not squared. So how I do that is what I first do is I multiply front and back. So when I multiply the front and back, I get negative 10 and the 9 on the bottom. What two numbers multiply to get negative 10 and add to get 9? That's 10 and negative 1. So what I now have is I'm going to keep the 5k squared, but I'm going to replace this 
with 10k minus 1k. Let me re -hit, kind of see what happened here. I'm replacing this with these four terms. I left the front and the back, but the middle, the 9k, I replaced with these two numbers. Those two numbers replace the 9k as two pieces. Now I pull out a GCF of here. So I'm going to pull a GCF out of this and of this. Now, when I pull a GCF out of the first two pieces, you should notice a 5K. That's your GCF on the first piece. So what's left behind? Well, if I pull a 5K out, won't that leave us with a K and a plus 2? Now, for the second piece, we're going to also pull out a GCF. Now, our goal is to get this to be K plus 2. I want to match. So I want this to match k plus 2. So what would I pull out so that I get a k plus 2? You should notice it's a minus 1. That would leave us with a k plus 2. Because your goal, again, is that these match. If they don't, you can't go on. Now that they match, what you're going to get here is these two pieces is another GCF. So I have k plus 2. And then the two GCFs, or what's left over, so you're left with a 5k minus 1. So this bottom is right here, and the top is, we're going to get this, but we're going to finish that off. All right, so we haven't finished factoring the top. I know it's a negative 1 out front, and i got to factor this, and isn't that a difference of squares? So what we have here on the top, we have that negative 1, on the bottom, we have the k plus 2, 5k minus 1. So remember, this factor to that, so I left that on the bottom. On the top, I had this, but I'm going to do this little piece in order to factor. And if this is a difference of squares, aren't we going to go 5x plus 1 and 5x minus 1? So we're going to get 5, no, 5k, sorry, 5k plus 1. 5k minus 1. I always forget the letters. I sometimes mix them up. A lot of times they go back to x's. Sorry. Now, do you see something dropping out? Do you see a same thing, top and bottom, creating a, a 1 that drops out? So hopefully you know this right here disappears. Anything else? No. So I'm left with negative 1 and a 5k plus 1 on top. And on bottom... I'm just left with a k plus 2. That is my simplified version. I could find restrictions. I'm not going to do that right now. You don't have to do it, every problem. I just, but this is good. This is our simplified version.